The most important thing you need for your directory website is the actual listings. Adding each one one by one can be unnecessarily cumbersome. Thankfully, GeoDirectory has an add-on that works with WP All Import to easily and quickly add your listings when they're in a CSV or an XML file. Let's get started. Okay, to get started here, we need two plugins installed. So first go to Plugins, Add New, and then search up here for WP All Import. You're gonna see this come up and make sure it says Buy So Fly, that's the right one and then click install now, and then hit activate. You also need the GeoDirectory plugin that works with WP All Import, so go to GeoDirectory Extensions, and then scroll down till you see WP All Import, and then install that. I have a membership, so it's going to let me install without asking me to buy the plugin. If you don't have a membership, you will have to buy um, the extension to the plugin, rather. Um, so hit install and then hit activate. Now that that's installed, you want to go to all import, new import. Now with this plugin, you're going to want to upload either a CSV file or an XML file. So go ahead and click upload a file. And then when the dialog box pops up, choose the file you want to upload. So go ahead and click the upload a file button. And then when the dialog box comes up, choose the CSV or the XML file you would like to upload. After that's done uploading, it's going to ask you if you want to um, use this for new items or existing items. You're probably going to want new items. And since these are going to be places for GeoDirectory, scroll down and choose places. Then click continue to step two. So step two is really just kind of showing you um, what was on that imported file. So if this looks good to you, go ahead and click to step three. So now on this page, what we're going to do is we're going to take this data over here and we're going to drag it where we want it to be on each place listing. So like, for example, in column one, I have the names. So I'm going to want that to go on title. Let's scroll down and click on the geo directory add on. And for this area, you might have more stuff on your spreadsheet, um, your file that matches with this stuff. I just have uh, street name, which is going to go there. And then I have city, which is going to go there. Um, for region is my state. So that's going to go there. And then we have um, a zip code is actually up there, which is a little weird, but fine. And that is everything I have available that matches with my spreadsheet. If you have custom fields and the pro version of WP all import, you could do that here. Um, you also have, you could, you could do tags and categories. If it is on your spreadsheet, you would just drag it right here. I do not. So when you're finished here, you can go ahead and click continue to step four. So on step four, it's asking for a unique identifier. This, um, prevents duplicates. If you're not sure what to do, you can just click auto detect. This is great if it's like a, a place ID or something. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the name of the RV park for me. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And if all this looks good, click confirm and run import. And it's all done. My import is completed. And to double check, I can go ahead and click into places. And then these are the um, places I just imported. It worked perfectly. So there we go. That's a great way to quickly import listings in your, to your directory uh, besides typing them in one by one. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to grab my freebie in the description, which will tell you exactly what to do to DIY your first uh, website from start to finish. It's called the nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. Thank you so much for watching.